here. Kakura is my one of favorite my place in New Zealand. It's a mountain. It's a reminding me really Tibet. It's become really homesick. But we Tibet we don't have the big ocean. We have big lakes, big rivers, but we don't have the ocean. But the combination of the mountain and the ocean, beautiful, even the sound. Wow. Priceless. You're listening to Saturday. It's nearly 20 past 10 here this morning. Good morning. It's lovely to have you with us. The llamas travel like wandering gypsies, setting up their stage, bringing Rinpoche to small town New Zealand. <laughs> Many who come are simply curious, others inexplicably drawn to this by now seven year old child wonder very self-confident in a very pleasant way, quiet and strong, and um, yeah, a very interesting child, and on the other hand, like a perfectly normal little boy. I'm really quite convinced of his authenticity. I hope you're having lots of fun playing with the other children. Thank you, sir. Don't worry about it. I found the notice about the rumpus show, and uh, and I felt I had a bit of a meditation, um, felt very drawn to coming here. I've been really moved actually by the responses of people coming to these events to meet Rinpoche in tears, you know, moved with the emotion of being blessed by him. I am happy to, to greet him, you know. I mean, um, why not? Because we're such a materialistic society, we're, we're actually in need of, of spiritual nourishment, you know. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. It was said that there was a gift for New Zealand, and when I heard that, I just felt so happy. Vanessa, not Vanessa. Amazing. What is also important to the Buddhists is for Rinpoche to connect with those beings we cannot see, those who reside in the mountains and the clouds and the various elements of nature. The Lamas refer to them as local deities. Despite the weather, the Lamas insist on stopping by the shores of Lake Tekapo in the South Island's high country to perform a puja, a prayer ceremony paying respect to the local deities. The weather forecast is predicting snow. <laughs> Sometimes in the West they call Tibetan Lamas controls weathers, but Ikilian not controls weathers. Actually, they negotiate with the local deities. They actually can control the weather. I think this is a very good sign. We believe this means that the local deity is really uh, very welcome. Uh, to me, it looks like the cloud is kind of long white scarf coming through Mount Cook, which we can see all through. So it's very auspicious. It's a long journey, particularly for Sonam, who's expecting another baby in just a few months. It's said that Rinpoche's birth in New Zealand was not by chance, that it was up to him where he decided to be reborn. But why New Zealand? Why of all countries in the world did he choose to land here? To 
Turanga Waiwai Marae, home to the Māori Queen. Buddhists believe that as an enlightened being, it was Rinpoche's decision to be born in New Zealand. Doesn't mean by accident he came here. He chose. He had already controlled. He had power at that stage. He can see the benefit. New Zealand is a peaceful country and very important people are very genuine and very kind of open hearted. Their final destination is as important spiritually to the Tibetans as it is to Māori. Is this light the house walking or no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At Cape Rainga, the waters of the west collide and run together with the currents from the east. Before Rinpoche leaves New Zealand, there is one last puja to perform for both Māori and Tibetan deities. Thank you, Rinpoche. He, he found a very good <laughs> part for me. It's here in Spirits Bay in the far north that some people say the two cultures once converged. Who's tall? Taller than me, anybody? This Monga is associated with one of our main common ancestors of all the, all the northern tribes, uh, Tohe. His name was Tohe. And he lived here. In this area is where um, some of the canoes landed. There's a hapu, there's a sub-tribe, their name is uh, Te Waiariki. They say that the canoe that they came on was made out of feathers and it came from Tibet. So basically what they're saying is they flew here from Tibet. Rinpoche has a new baby brother, Kama Tenzing Yeshi. This was also the hospital where Rinpoche was born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a big sigh. Mm. 